my channel. My name is Kaj for those of you who are new here and I'm so excited that you're here and watching my videos today. We are doing like a weekend reset type of video, cleaning, grocery shopping. This will probably turn into very much of a cleaning video and just like getting the house back together after a week of me going to school. For those of you who are new here, I'm a nursing student and so I don't have a lot of time during the week to like upkeep with the house, obviously like vacuuming and cooking and things like that. But in terms of like more deeper cleaning, even though we're not gonna be doing like super deep cleaning, it's just basically gonna be a very realistic cleaning routine to help like maintain the house and get it back together after a whole week. So first things first, we have to go to the grocery store. I have to get Joey ready and then we're gonna head out. I already made like a little bit of a meal plan for this week just to like plan on our meals. And so just kind of, I know what to go ahead and buy at the grocery store. It helps me stay on track, helps me not buy excess things that we're not gonna eat then and like waste money on it. So that is what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. And then when we come back, we're going to start cleaning and doing all the things but i will also put a to-do list of what i want to tackle today so you guys kind of have an idea of what to expect in this video you're gonna help me with the laundry oh thanks oh almost hold on let's move all these store joey's already eating his apple so i'm gonna show you guys all that we got this is a pretty big haul this is pretty realistic of what like lasts us a week plus depending on like what the food is but let me just show you guys so we got also we went to two different grocery stores we went to aldi and we went to target like how we usually do most of the stuff is from aldi and then just some like granola bars and things like that are from target but to start out i'm gonna try this sweet kale chopped salad kit I wanted to get two of these, but I didn't know if it was going to be good, so I just got one to try out, and then next week, if it's good, we'll get more. We got two of the Caesar salads, stuff to make bell peppers. I am planning on, like, doing the bell peppers for, like, lunches and things like that, too, so that's why we got so many. Got bread, buns for burgers. This is one of our favorite types of bread. Got two things of eggs. We got some more frozen fruit since Joey really liked the smoothies I made him last time. I'm going to uh, make him more of a smoothie and not just freeze it for popsicles. So that will be good. Asparagus, one for today and one for another day this week. Cheerios, Joey already also got into these. Coffee, milk, two things of yogurt. That's sour cream right there. I got, this is my favorite, the roasted red pepper hummus. I love it for like a sandwich. If you think that sounds weird, don't hate it till you try it with like some cheese and turkey. It's really, really good. And cheese, cube cheese as like a snack. Got just some sliced cheese, some shredded cheese, cream cheese. Got hash browns, most likely for breakfast for tomorrow, knowing Joe, he will want to do like hash browns and bacon and just make a really good breakfast for Sunday. I got pork chops instead of chicken thighs because the one thing about Aldi is that sometimes they don't have like everything that I would want to get. Like sometimes they just don't have it out or in stock. So I got pork chops instead, totally fine. We got some deli meat, salmon, burgers, ground beef for the stuffed bell peppers, potatoes, and then English muffins. And that's it from Aldi. And then over here, I kind of like stashed these things away. We got pretzels, Lara bars. We got some cliff bars. I don't want to because Joey needed to have a nibble to calm down at the store. Skinny Pop, this is so good. And then I also got two sweets. I got some cookies for the week and some little of those like muffin bites at Target. So those are already put away. But that is it for the grocery haul. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice. 
Here I'm just starting to fold and go through some of the laundry that I've already taken out of the dryer. I'm just kind of sorting through it, the towels and through like the dish rags and then the rest. I'm just going to toss it in the hamper and fold it all later. But I just want to clear up some of the space off the washer and dryer so I don't get frustrated later when I have to come back and do the next load. And then also mom life picking up some of Joey's toys so I don't trip over them. I just ran into the kitchen to grab a damp paper towel to kind of clean up the bowl and then the rest of the TV stand. This is kind of my go-to way of cleaning. Swiffer, damp paper towel, call it a day. I know I said at the beginning of this video this isn't going to be like a deep clean or anything like that. I consider doing the ceiling fan kind of more of a deeper clean but we haven't cleaned this one in a while and I just know it needed to be dusted. Nobody loves me better. Guess I'm just too scared to settle down. There'd be many nights I got too hot and almost left town but there's something about you something about you I like about you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you if only you knew I would die for you one of us one of us gotta say the obvious nobody loves me better nobody loves me better These woven shelves, I have a very much love-hate relationship with them. Originally, I really liked the look of them. They're not really my favorite though, and cleaning them is not easy whatsoever, but just kind of brush it with the Swiffer and pretend like there's no more dust.
When it comes to the stove, I never really give it a deeper clean just because we're really good about cleaning it after each meal and at the end of every day, but I'm just still going through it and picking up some of the dust since the top of it is black so you can kind of see every fingerprint and all the dust that collects on top of it throughout the day. Run away with me, it be worth the time. Run away with me, I made you feel alright. Run away with me. I also decided that the cabinets needed a dusting and again I never do anything special with them. Literally my favorite thing ever is the Swiffer and that is exactly what I'm going to go ahead and go around the whole kitchen and dust it with the Swiffer. It does a really good job and if you upkeep with your cabinets on a daily basis they really don't get too dirty. Here I decided that I needed to replace the coffee mat that's under our coffee machine. We have two and I usually try to rotate them just whenever I see that a lot of coffee grounds are collected on top of it and it, it obviously gets dusty. So I just wanted to clean it all up and give it a fresh one underneath the coffee machine. Cleaning this mat was actually really satisfying. I really enjoyed seeing all that dirt and just all the coffee grounds drip off of it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any weird quirks like that too where it's just very satisfying to clean a certain thing in the kitchen. Now another thing, I love using the dishwasher, but I really don't like when I have to carry the dishes over from the sink over to the dishwasher because the water drips everywhere and this might sound kind of weird and maybe <laughs> lazy, but it's just so frustrating. I wish there was just a better way. And then there's me realizing that the mat will dry better if it's underneath it so all the water can drip off of it. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Another thing I decided to last minute clean is the fridge. I'm just using some Windex and a paper towel to wipe it down because it was actually pretty dirty and I really am curious. Let me know in the comments below how often you clean your fridge doors because I feel like we don't do it often enough.
here I am just cleaning the sink and once I'm done finishing doing the sink I just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then I finish off the vanity by also dusting the cabinets which is something we don't usually do that often so I decided again to just dust the cabinets in here just to kind of continue to trend throughout the whole house. This was perfect timing because I noticed that the Amazon truck came by and I actually ordered a new blanket for our room and then also some beads to kind of decorate and so I'm opening it up to kind of see what it will look like in our bedroom and you guys will kind of see that I am a little bit disappointed because I will end up returning this blanket but I am about to show you guys what it looks like in our room. I don't love it. I'm going to return it. Honestly, I think that I want to do like a more of a natural color one. I feel like this dark gray is like too dark for this room because I want to do dark gray curtains. So I don't know. I think it's too dark. Also, it's not like as fluffy as I thought it was going to be and it's not really soft like the reviews say. So I'm going to return it and get one, I think probably from Target. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below about like the color and everything. Beads on the other hand, I ended up putting them right there and I really like them. I thought maybe I should put them here, but I actually think I really like them right there, even though that's not the original spot I want them, like the corner that I wanted them for. I'm gonna order more because they're only $6.99 off Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and link those for you guys because they're actually like really good quality. They have so many colors. It's a really good length and they're not expensive. And beads can be so expensive, so. But not as much as this does, so baby Joey woke up from his nap so I decided that I was just going to go ahead and finish up with his room really quickly because I feel like most moms know sometimes you kind of feel when you already know you're not going to have much time later and my prediction was true that Joey wanted attention and to play which is totally normal so finishing up his room right now. I'm driving 
66 and we keep on driving we just do what we wanna do yeah no nothing's complicated If you know Joey, you know that Joey loves the vacuum cleaner. It's his absolute favorite toy. Vacuum cleaner and mop all the cleaning products. He just loves to watch me clean. Joey, what are you doing? It is now the next day, it is Sunday, and I'm gonna go ahead and boil some eggs just because it's a quick and easy breakfast and I enjoy doing that, so I'm gonna go ahead and make six eggs just so I have them for the next three days. Joe and my husband also folded all the laundry so I don't have to worry about any of that, which is great. All I have left to do is mop the floor and we are done prepping for the week. <laughs> 